Hello and welcome to another week, another tip video, and I must say, as you can see on the screen, I almost got a perfect round. If only I thought that Manly could actually bounce back, but that's okay. That's okay, I'm not disheartened by it. Um, it, it does make me feel a lot better that we are in the right track, uh, getting 7 out of 8. In saying that, this week, I'm not so confident in this week, um, so which is always good. Um, quick look at the ladder. My, my team, the Bronx, uh, still on top, 6-1. Uh, and one. Fortunately, a little blemish from the Raiders makes them not defeated. Um, and I actually made a couple little videos from this weekend, which if you haven't seen, they're part of the shorts. Uh, so have a little quick. One was about, I did one for the Titans game and then I did one for the Tigers. Who survived the buy round, um, which, is, which is crazy in itself. Um, so yeah, 7 out of 8 this week. Uh, season total is 36 out of 56, staying above that 50% uh, tip rate, which is always good. Uh, what are we looking at, about 20, 28 now? So what's the next round? It'll be 64. So I've got to... Got to get more than one tip right. I don't know. I'm still above 50. I can't do math. I'm doing meth, not math here. Come on. I need to do the math. Um, still, the ladder is not not too bad. Teams teams aren't looking too shabby on here. Um, the bye week is definitely, I guess, helping team. Yeah, the, we'll say it's helping teams. Um, Tigers aren't included in that. Buy round didn't help them at all. Uh, they're still on the bottom. Uh, so it's going to be interesting when it gets to the end of the season, particularly where teams who will have a secondary buy. Um, so it'll be very, very interesting to see what happens there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the ladder. And let's move on to the... Uh, the week's game so the first game we have ooh, this one thing want to move over there we go rabbits versus panthers oh i've got a little drip drip on me oh huh, that's all right um i will say a lot of these games were hard this one particularly not so much i would have liked to go on rabbitos but i'm gonna go stick stick with panthers um particularly i think they've pretty much got a full team back now I think they have for the past couple of weeks. Uh, so kind of easy Panthers here. Oh, I went the wrong way. Look at me go. Uh, Eels Broncos. I would not be surprised if the Broncos lose this game. That's it'd be bloody ridiculous. It's especially the way they played two weeks ago. And then the first half against the Titans. They do that against the Eels. The Eels will win. Um, but it'd be great if they lost still. Uh, doggies versus sharks. Unfortunately, the dogs are just so many injuries, uh, particularly their star players. Which I guess you could say is the end of the season for the dogs and not making finals. As much as I wanted them to make finals, well, they should have. Um, unfortunately, it's just not going to happen. I don't think. Um, sharks are going to win. Nico Hines is still the man. Um, he's only not the man unless he gets picked for New South Wales. Which I might do a state of origin type segment thing. I haven't decided yet. Um, so yeah, Sharkies for this one. Uh, now this was this was probably the, the first game that was hard to tip. I do believe Knights are so much better without Ponga. Ponga is back this week. But I want to say this is the bounce back week for the Cowboys. They've gone, I think it was like a three-game losing streak out at the moment. Um, and it's at home, so I really feel like the Cowboys can can bounce back. I'm hoping so. Because these are my tips on the line here, for goodness sake. Um, Dolphins versus Titans, another game that was hard to pick. Uh, a little bit of the looking at the team list, uh, but ultimately I went with the Dolphins. Um, to me, it's too good not 
to, you know, doubt the Dolphins here. Titans, they have AJ Brimson back, which is a big plus for them. But I'm I'm still back in the Dolphins. They're just playing to even a loss against the Rabbits. No, they why do they win? I can't remember what they did on the weekend, but we'll just skip past that. Uh they lost it was to the Rabbits, yeah. They played well for the first half. But I I do I do think that they can bounce back. And no one Wayne Bennett, he can. Uh Tigers Seagulls, I mean Who who can go past the Seagulls? They beat the storm. Um they're under the pump. Coach asked them to respond. They did. And now we're here. And they pretty much got a bye week. I mean if Tigers beat them, oh my lord, it'd be the most Seagulls thing. Manly could do one manly thing, it'd be losing to the to the Tigers. Uh, Roosters Dragons. This was another hard pick. Um, Dragons. I think they've been competitive, even though they haven't necessarily won um, their games. And Roosters, I think, are still playing like dog water. Um, even though I don't like them as well, which probably helps them playing like dog water, I guess. Um, but Roosters uh, Anzac Day game, which should be good. I uh, actually went to one of these games, if I recall correctly, uh, years and years ago. Um, so, uh, that better not be hard for him. What are Roosters? But it'd be the most Roosters. Nah, actually, it wouldn't be a Roosters thing. It'd be, unlike the Roosters, for one, they're playing terribly this year, and two, to lose the Dragons. Yeah. Um, the last game. This was the last one that was hard to pick. Um... Because I do like the Warriors, have for years, and always pick them, and they always lose. Um, but Storm have Nick Meany back, so for that, I went to Storm. Ah, oh, excuse me, and it was as simple as that. Alright, that is a quick, it was probably a quicker video today. Again, I shouldn't be doing these at 11, what's it, 11.40 at night. Um, but here I am, and what are you going to do about it? A quick recap, Rabbits Panthers, it should be a good game, it should be very competitive, same with Eels Broncos, uh, unfortunately I don't think the next game Doggy Sharks will be competitive, Cowboys not, actually all around, it's going to be a competitive game besides Tigers Manly and Dog Shark. So this is actually a round where it is pretty much 50-50, which is I think good for the game. Uh, if, especially if you look at the ladder, the teams that usually would perform well aren't necessarily performing. The teams that don't usually perform well are performing. Um, it, I think it's good. Um, Raiders, of course, have the bye. Uh, so, yeah, that is it for the round and another week gone by, another video gone by. Um, let me know how you're going in the tipping. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.